It's that time of year when all the big video game publishers get together and tell their investors exactly how much money that they've taken off of us. EA are one of those very publishers and they had a lot to say. Delayed games that aren't really delayed, you guys. Microtransactions are coming back and new unannounced games. In an investors call this week, EA's Chief Financial Officer Blake Jorgensen spoke about the disappointment that was Star Wars Battlefront 2. He revealed EA had made a loss of $186 million in quarter three of the fiscal year and put the blame squarely on the shoulders of Battlefront 2. According to Jorgensen, Star Wars Battlefront 2 performed worse than the company expected and fell short of its sales goals by around a million units. He said, For quarter three, we had expected to sell about 8 million units, but we fell short of that by less than 1 million units. Before the investors call, Jorgensen had told the Wall Street Journal that Battlefront 2's underperformance was a result of the loot box controversy surrounding the game. But despite that negative backlash against EA and their loot box policy, he hinted that microtransactions would return to the game within the coming months. In the investors call, EA CEO Andrew Wilson all but confirmed Jorgensen's comments, saying, quote, Digital economies have a place, and we will continue to drive and focus on that. The teams are working on how that context will apply to the Battlefront universe, but more on that in the months to come. We can't wait. Wilson also downplayed the rumour that microtransactions were pulled from Battlefront 2 after pressure from higher-ups at Disney. Quote, You shouldn't believe everything than you read in the press. We have a tremendous relationship with Disney and built amazing games together. At this point, when we make the decision, we have the right model for players and the community. I have no doubt we will be supported by Disney. So it's possible microtransactions will be re-implemented into Battlefront 2 alongside the revamped progression system, which DICE teased in a blog post just last week. So uh, Battlefront 2 underperformed and uh, they're going to put microtransactions back in it. Both things that I guess everyone thought would happen eventually. Uh, it's just how those microtransactions manifest. If it's just straight purchases rather than buying loot box with random shite in it, maybe that'll go down, well, it will go down a lot better than whatever was in there before, because that was awful. Awful is right, Mike, but um, let's hope they stick to cosmetics and they're not based around star cards. They're changing the progression system. Hopefully they're, they're just tearing off like a band-aid or a plaster, like we say in the UK, because, you know, it's, it's a plaster. That's the right word. Let's just hope that they do that. They make those wholesale changes. Change the game don't have it around loot boxes have it around something more satisfying than trying to take money off us we know what you're doing let's not overlook the fact that they do acknowledge um, that the game didn't perform well enough which by the way it did sell seven million units or less than eight million not good enough that's the, yeah not quite up Piss to poor. what they wanted awful but they at least they acknowledged that that was because of the big stink that the loot boxes kicked up and they yeah. at least recognized that that was a problem people were not happy that should hopefully for us positively affect the games in the future if they have brains if they have brains that's a, that's a huge qualifier that mike we'll just wait See. EA also revealed some new info about the future of their Star Wars games with a tentative release date for Respawn Star Wars game and the possibility of a Battlefront 3. Speaking to investors, EA confirmed the Star Wars action game from the Titanfall developers Respawn would launch in the 2020 fiscal year, which means it will come out between April 2019 and March 2020. Very little is known about Respawn Star Wars game, but we do know it's being directed by Stig Asmussen, who is best known for directing God of War 3. Interestingly, Blake Jorgensen also revealed the company was unsure when Battlefront 3 will be released. Sorry. Hello? Taking it as well. How about that? All right. <laughs> I think that's one each now, Mike. That is, that is, yes. That is one each. In other words, you can't say shit, Mike, because <laughs> you've done this before. <laughs> that's exactly what I was saying. Interestingly, Blake Jorgensen also revealed the company was unsure when Battlefront 3 would be released. EA has been using a two-year release cycle for the Battlefront games, with a new one launching to coincide with the release of a mainline Star Wars movie. This is exciting, right? A new Star Wars game made by the guy who made God of War 3. So what can we surmise about the game from that? Yeah, I mean, Respawn are a good studio. Timefall yeah. 2, I really enjoyed. I think they put together a great game there. Uh, underappreciated, of course, which is quite well known by now. Um, yeah, so hopefully that'll be cool. And we, we're going to see Battlefront 3 right that's going to happen just won't wait for the next big mainline Star Wars movie in other EA news speaking to the Wall Street Journal again Blake Jorgensen confirmed earlier reports that Anthem the multiplayer shooter from Bioware would be pushed back to 2019 but Jorgensen insists it's not a delay it's to make room for a new Battlefield game not to be confused with Battlefront which is scheduled to launch in 2018 quotes it's not a delay people are trying to create a story so apparently the game is just being given some free air like he controls the air like that that's what's implying it's like yeah, yeah. there's some free air don't f 
Sharp or we'll take all the air away, like they do with all the other f***ing studios. That's pretty hardcore. We won't just kill you, we'll take your air away. <laughs> Jorgensen is likely referring to the recent Kotaku article by respected games journalist Jason Schreier, in which anonymous Bioware employees suggested the 2018 release date was unrealistic and Anthem would likely miss it. As Jorgensen puts it, EA plans on releasing a new Battlefield game in October, and they felt moving Anthem into the first part of 2019 would provide the game with a bit of breathing room instead of shoving it into the busy release schedule of fall 2018. As for the new Battlefield game, Jorgensen didn't provide any details, but rumours about it have pegged it as either being set in World War II or a new instalment in the Bad Company series. EA did say Battlefield 1 had been a massive success for them, and they revealed the World War 1 shooter has had more than 25 million unique players during its lifetime. So there really was a ton of news coming out of uh, EA here, but this is kind of what happens. I guess it's a little bit... <sighs> It's a little bit of a bummer when they say, ah, oh, there's going to be a Battlefield game. We've done a video on this in the past where it's kind of a half-hearted. Like, ah, uh, oh, there's a new Assassin's Creed coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's good to know that it's coming if you like those series. It's really no surprise. And I think everyone recognises at this point that they are doing exactly what Activision have been doing with COD for a long time and just alternating what comes out year on year as long as there is a big shooter for them. So they've got a Battlefront one year, they've got a Battlefield the next year. They've got, and, and, you know, on it goes. The thing I'm most interested to is actually the Respawn Star Wars game because mainly because I don't know anything about it. I really want to find out what it is, what kind of game it's going to be. Hopefully it's not going to be another first person shooter. Hopefully they'll do something like what the Killzone developers did and just shift into something else. Try and do something else completely because as, as the Guerrilla Games showed, that can be done. A first person shooter studio can come up with something else really cool. So there you go, an EA investor call info dump. Was there anything that really stuck out to you? Microtransactions, delayed, non-delayed games or a new Star Wars game? Let us know what picked your fancy down in the comments below. Like the video if you've enjoyed to subscribe if you're new around here another video on your screen there if you want to check that out suppose on patreon if you're awesome we will see you again in the next video and until then bye for now